100 students are bused in or dropped off at Arvin from Lamont each week. The clouds have broken and it does look like the storm system has begun. Estamos aquí en el centro de Bakersfield en la carcel. Hablamos con el sospechoso que atacó a su ex novia y a un extraño con un machete en el sureste de Bakersfield el domingo. Hoy está tras las rejas, pero él dice que le sorprende que lo acusan de dos cargos de intento de asesinato. Polls closed here in Cal City this evening at 8, and that's when the counting began. I had to come meet Kathy and see what all the hype was about. They're faced with the difficult task of balancing a budget that is $1.8 million short. Fueron varias las ceremonias que se llevaron a cabo en nuestra comunidad en honor a las víctimas que perdimos en el ataque de 11 de septiembre de 2001. You got to take a look at this line, though, because this is the real story. These families, many of whom have made it finally to the front of the line, have actually been here since they're telling me 7 or 7.30 this morning. Everything you need for your next outdoor adventure will be available right off the 99. We did see that record break at a high of 98, so no more streak. We're out of the triple digit woods, at least for today and tomorrow. An unprovoked and vicious attack on an innocent man right here at the park at Riverwalk. And for the third year, International Fruit Genetics has opened its vineyards to the Kern County chapter of California Rare Fruit Growers. And actually, this loss is not the only thing that was unexpected about today. One natural disaster in South America over a year ago sheds unnerving light on the uphill reality of long-term recuperation. I spent a lifetime learning about Ecuador from my mom, born and raised Ecuatoriana. But it wasn't until I lived there in 2016 that I really understood what it meant to have a deep love for another country and for its people. Everything can change in an instant, and in this case, it did. Entire towns in Ecuador have been reduced to piles of rubble. But Brick and debris were falling on us. A crushing 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Ecuador. For me, and I think for most people, it was the fear of not knowing what was going to happen next. Another tremor, a larger earthquake. There was a real and penetrating fear of a tsunami for weeks. He was just one of my students. I've got over 200 students. I didn't really tell many people. Earth science teacher Judy Ferris was beginning another school year at Centennial High. Then 14-year-old freshman Jeff Pasternak was beginning his first year of high school. One day he, he said, Mrs. Ferris, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. And I said, okay. Uh, and so I gave him some work ahead of time. She was the second person I told at school. And then when he came back the next day, he said, Mrs. Ferris, um, they are moving me. I'm not going to be here anymore. By 2013, Jeff had been bouncing from state to state, Nevada, Oregon, California. I said, who's they? I didn't know, I don't know who they was. And he said, you know, my, I, my foster mom doesn't want me anymore, and so they're moving me to another school. And he asked me if I would pray with him. And when I was finished praying with him, um, he was holding my hands, and he didn't let go. And I said, you know, Jeffrey, I said, you're a really nice kid. I said, someone's gonna want you, I would take you in a minute. And I asked her, would you really and she said yes, and then I gave her the contact information for my social worker. And I thought, yeah, like, why not? Judy texted me and said, uh, there's a boy that we might like to foster and to pray about it. And I told her, well, to do the right thing, we really don't need to pray to do the right thing. If, if he's a good boy and he's homeless, Go for it. I never thought I was going to get like a driver's license, uh, go to college. I didn't even think I was going to like, I wasn't even thinking about like high school. Like I didn't think I was going to pass at all. Fast forward three years of high school, countless track meets, family meals, football games, homework assignments, scout meetings, and holidays. We took him in as family. We didn't take him in as a foster son or, or feeling sorry for him. We took him in to give him a home. The experience wasn't without growing pains, but the Ferrises committed to making Jeff an indispensable member of their family. <laughs> <laughs> the Ferrises are an amazing godsend to him. They, the love and support that they have shown that young man, it close to brings me to tears. I might be like lacking some skills because I wasn't taught them younger, but it doesn't mean I can't learn them still. That's what they've taught me big time. It makes me very proud to see the changes in Jeff's behavior. And it's not just because of me or my husband. Jeff's been impacted by a lot of great teachers here at Centennial High School. 
Uh, he's been impacted by a lot of great Boy Scout leaders at Boy Scout Troop 47. He's been impacted by great leaders at the Lions for Christ. He has had a group of grown-ups working on him uh, for the last four years, and everyone did their part. I feel like I, I'm in debt to them, and when I'm older, I'm definitely going to keep coming back here and hang out and smile and be helpful, friendly family member.